Hello YouTube, uh, Matt back again. Uh, just a quick update on my CNC mill TM25 conversion. Um, done a few things since I've seen you guys. I've put rubber gib guards on or table guards, stop all the crap from going flying everywhere. They work great so far. Um, in the process of finishing off my FOD buster, homemade FOD buster. Um, works really well, actually it atomizes a little bit too good at the moment, I've got to fix that up a little bit, but all in the adjustment of the needle. Um, other than that, it's got a little adjustment tap here. Um, yeah, that's pretty well much it, nothing too flash. Just out of an old block of aluminium. Um, the other thing I've done is I have made a silent air compressor. Went down to um, Super Cheap Auto the other week. $70 straight off the shelf, nothing flash. Ripped the motor off it and put a fridge air compressor on it. Um, have a listen to this. Hang on, I'll just drop the pressure out of it. That's it, running. Can you hear it? <laughs> Takes about two minutes roughly to fill the tank. It's not a very big tank. Uh, it's not a very big compressor either for that matter. But it is just enough to run the FOD buster. And it will keep up with it and um, shut itself off every five minutes roughly. Doesn't cook its head off. Doesn't get too hot. Real simple and stupid to do though. Um, I think it's a great idea. After looking at CRUD CNC, poor old Luke with his uh, silent air compressor issues that he was having. I wasn't really keen on spending $600. I've got a ton of air compressors floating around here. Um, so I wasn't really keen on blowing money on another one that really at the end of the day still screams its head off, I think. But anyway, there we go. Works great. A um, few things I have made so far. On the, the, the last video I posted on the internet uh, was actually this piece here getting cut out. It's actually my tool for my ER32 collet. The finished quality on it turned out pretty good. Mind you, I'm using cheap rubbish tool, tool bits at the moment too. But, got pretty well much a mirror finish on it. Circle turned out to be pretty good. It fits onto here. I've just got to put the um, the stud in it. I haven't put the stud in it yet. And the other end of it fits my AR32 collet. That's obviously an AR16, but but yeah, so far I have been making chips, and everything's working great. Turn the light on so you can see it. It turned out pretty well. Mind you, I've never done any CNC work before too. I've got an old Chinese um, 3 and one lathe, CNC, uh, 3 one lathe mill drill thing out in the shed. I kind of do all my practice on that. I've learned over the years, but anyway, that's it. Fodbusters works great though. About 5 psi, and it's screaming its head off. I put a little needle in it out of a um, one of those ball pumps. That's um, restricted it down pretty well. Other than that, ready to go, all good to go again. I've swapped the bearings out to they're a little bit better. I get up to hang on, show you. get up to about two grand, no worries at all, without it being too noisy or anything. And that is. Basically two grand. And that'll do me for the moment. But that's a lot better. A lot quieter. Not hot. It used to get hot before. Pretty good now. Yeah, so I'm just in the process now of waiting for my bottles and regulators to hook up the... Um, on busting system. But other than that, 2000 RPM, that's pretty quiet. It's a lot better than what it was.
It's all brass pipe out of a fridge. As you can tell, I've gutted a fridge. Anyway, guys, see ya.